2009, when there was a very bad economic situation nationally, uh, there was a movement going on in the area to downsize government. Five communities in Western New York, in our area, decided to downsize. Hamburg was one of them. We went from a five-person board to a three-person board. So a lot of times people will come to me and say, well, what's the negative impact of having a smaller board? And probably the easiest way to look at it is if you look at how many committees that this town has, and each committee has a budget, and each budget is spending money or earning money, depending on, on what that budget and that committee's involved in doing. When you have only three people that are responsible for it, and two of them are part-time people responsible for running all these committees and budgets, they have to go to certain meetings, and those meetings you know, are getting spread thin, or they're having less of them, so hence less representation, and that just creates an inefficiency. I decided to do some more research into it and see if it was feasible for us to bring this issue to a vote again. To get the ball rolling on getting this out to the, um, the public, we, uh, Barbara had some started the petition sheet, she handed them out at the meeting, we all went out and got petitions signed um, by the residents for the upsizing and we all in turn um, gave them back to Barbara and she presented them to the town board and... And then with the, within the last maybe week, week and a half, uh, when Common Cause did uh, come to help us, uh, that's when we were able to get literature uh, and put together a phone drive uh, where we called uh, likely voters uh, and just put out the message, uh, you know, why it makes sense and to m make sure they go vote on election day. What Common Cause really did is it took Barbara's passion and simplified it into a methodology or mm -hmm. system. And it gave people that were also passionate about it the tools to be successful. You know, we didn't have a month-long campaign to get people out there. We had probably about a week and a half that we really hit the voters, because you can't call too far in advance. But they gave us the best targets, they gave us the script, they gave us even the resources. They found a local law firm that allowed us to use their, their phone systems. So they basically gave us the tools to take our mission and then execute on it. I literally stood and we did stood at polling right at the polling place and talked to all the residents that were voting and that um, I know with my experience at my voting place where I stood all day and I talked to the residents because a lot of them weren't sure. Um, they actually came out and voted yes and they understood the cause. There was 11,615 votes, and we won by 801. And this is a perfect example of like how one person can affect 56,000 lives. So if you're watching this and trying to figure out what's gonna get you to get to that next level, first you have a passion, then you have a vision, but you have to execute. And that's what Common Cause does, is it helps you execute your passion, it helps you bring people together with resources that are gonna make them more successful. So you're not just David against Goliath, you're a bunch of Davids against Goliath. One of my main goals as a Common Cause activist is to energize the grassroots to care about the quality of government. Don't just shrug your shoulders and say there's nothing we can do and give up on voting and just quit. No, there is something you can do you can care about the quality of government. It's our government. Let's take it back from the big money interests and make it work for everyone.